WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. And all I can tell you is that uh, indices are trading lower. Of course, it would be helpful if I put up a screen. So I've had a little technical glitch out here. And we're just simply going to go to our cash indice charts out here. So I know they're trading lower just by looking at today's candle session. But today's candle session, depending on where it closes, is telling us something. So right now you can see that price is below the red oscillator and change line from the Dow, the S&P, the NASDAQ 100, not the Russell, but for the semis, for the transports, that's all that you need to know. It's for the New York Stock Exchange and the NASDAQ Composite as well. Those charts are not on the screen out here. So red oscillator and change line tells us that the price oscillator is below zero. Price oscillator is the difference between two things. In our case, it's the difference between the 39 and 19 period exponential moving averages. There's nothing more bearish than a falling price oscillator below zero. That is the message when you trade below a red oscillator and change line. So then what does that mean? That means that we head back to support. Now, in the indices out here, really don't have support levels. I, I would have support levels with regard to TD9 count breakout and breakdown levels. And we would typically go to the equity future contracts to look for those levels. But here what we've got, if the Dow closes below 35073, that's giving you a sell signal. It suggests we head lower. In the S&P 500, it's a close below 44.75. Now, that head lower may be to just simply go back and test the January 24th candle. It could be the high of the candle. It could be the low of the candle out there. It will be dependent upon volume. And you'll look at the volume for the SPY, the Qs, the IWM, and the Diamonds in order to figure that out. The NDX 100, uh, again, trading below 14.511. That's the key number to be watching at day's end. The Russell 2000 may be just be targeting uh, it's oscillator and change line at 2,000, even Steven. The semis out here uh, below 34.58 suggest a run for that January 24th or 28th. I can't tell which day it is. Uh, the low is here. Well, actually, can, I can't. The 28th in the semis. The transports, uh, they're already getting pretty close to, oh, they're already inside. The low from uh, January the 28th out there, that's its swing point. So, uh, folks, day two. Two more great hours up. Your favorite polar bear, David White, he's up next. After that, Tom O'Brien, he'll take us on home for the weekend. I'll be back with you on Magical Monday. Have a fantastic Friday, folks.